Oh, yep, that time of the week. Another Alphaba video. Today's video is absolutely insane. I think people on TikTok genuinely come across as quite crazy, but this is all to do with doxing Alphaba. A video that I guess is sort of in defense of her, because some of the stuff that you will see in this video is just mental. Like, people on the internet are scary. They scare me. If you guys are new here, we're so close to 400,000 subscribers, so if you want to be one of those, join in. But after watching this, you might be completely scared away from the internet forever, so I can't blame you if you run away. So, we've got Alphaba. Um, TikToker, you know Alphaba. Bloody hell, you know Alphaba by now if you watch me. And we have about 20 million TikToks here on the screen that we're going to watch that are going to tell a story. Um, that's going to make you go at the end of it, oh, why are people allowed to exist? First of all, I thought I'd open it with something, um, a bit more wholesome, and that would be Alphaba singing. So, um, this is what she was up to around Christmas time. <laughs> What's quite funny about this is you can only assume that she hid the body of the person who was originally busking, like, there in a bin somewhere in London. Now, obviously, I'm joking. I don't think Alphaba um, got rid of the busker. But what she will be trying to get rid of is her address from the internet, because Alphaba recently has accidentally leaked her address multiple times on live stream. Seems to be a constant occurrence. But there are also people who have been going around and trying to leak Alphaba's address as well. People trying to dox her. And by the way, if you're somebody who dislikes Alphaba, that's fair enough. If you think that she needs to be held accountable, that's reasonable. If you're leaking somebody's address on the internet, you're equally as big of a head case. And you also need to be locked away. So let's begin this crazy story. I can't wait to watch all of these TikToks. Bloody hell, I have been looking forward to this all Christmas. I'd rather die. Um, the Christmas lives will continue. They'll, that we can still do the same. We can um, do things. I can still, I can live stream in Central um, area. Thank God for that. Thank God Christmas hasn't been ruined by the Grinches of the internet doxing Alphaba. We're all gonna get our Alphaba Christmas live streams. Oh, my my kids will finally be happy. I actually didn't get them any presents this year because I told them that this would be going on and they hate me now. What am I on about? I don't even visit them. I don't even visit those kids. They don't even know I am. I'm long gone. 12 years on the run, baby. Um, because that's, that's, that's a really well-known place. So that's fine to do so. Um... I'm going to be very careful now of what I video, what I show, and what I share, um, just to protect myself and my family. So basically, Alphaba has two phones, and I think she was, like, showing the update of a delivery driver, and she showed the entire internet, the address that she's at. So, um, she's a clever clogs. So there's a lot going on up here. Very smart person. The thing is, though, Alphaba livestreams where she is 24-7, so it's really weird to see her sit here and go, Oh my god, uh, people know who I am. And it's like scaring me, um, although this isn't really a problem normally because she live streams where she is all the time with famous landmarks in the background pretty much 24-7. You can pretty much follow her from her house to a landmark and back again. It wouldn't be that hard to find Alphabet if you really wanted to. Not saying you should do, obviously, because that would be weird. But come on, it's hardly like a miracle if you stumble across Alphabet. Like, just... Look at where she is on TikTok Live and you can probably find her. You shouldn't though, because that's creepy. But you can. It's a thing that can happen. That's what happens when you live stream where you are all the time. No, it's just, it's, it's a crazy thing to be on TikTok. Like, it's weird, I'll say that. It's, it's very, uh, it's not as, it's not as dandy as people make out it's not fun it's always it's not as dandy as people make out all i've seen on tiktok this year is a man who's 42 who preys on teenagers on his live stream a man who can't swallow a potato without like actually being able to chew the thing because his teeth will fall out and then somebody who has a breakdown every single day on TikTok Live and then comes back for more money and gifts. It looks bloody miserable. I don't think anybody looks at TikTokers and goes, oh, what a fun lifestyle. They look good. They look cool. They look like somebody I want to be. Yeah, you're on your own with that one. I think TikTokers look terrifying. You're exactly what I never want to become. Just constant stress. Yeah, I know. 
But, you know, you just got to keep going and keep just going. You don't have to. I'm just going to let you know, Alphaba. You don't have to keep going. You can quit if you wanted to. If you genuinely don't want to be tormented every day of your life, you can hang it up. You can get a real job. It might be hard for you because of what you've done on the internet. You kind of made yourself unemployable with the content you produce. You don't have to make content. You can stop. I feel like that wasn't real to me, kind of feeling. It felt so surreal to have someone like come to your house and bang it and thump on your door like in the morning. Yeah, so this is where it starts to get really weird. Because what happened was, is Alpha Burr was live streaming and at three o'clock in the morning, some guy knocks on her door and then takes pictures of her through their window. Because that's ordinary, isn't it? And then he posted it in Discord, which is a red flag in itself. But you can join my one. My one's cool. It's in the description below. Join my Discord. We're normal over there. If you do shit like this, you get banned. Okay, here's the video proof of the weird stuff that was going on. So enjoy. Whoever knocked on their door is an absolute idiot and they shouldn't have done this. That is totally wrong. But Elphaba and Maria, in fact, you do not know how to keep yourself safe and that's really worrying because you are walking the streets not being safe and you're doing it to yourself and you're doxing yourself all the time it has to stop because if it doesn't something really 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 bad is going to happen to you if you carry on doing the things you're doing that sounds like a threat at the end there you know something bad's going to happen to you if you keep on live streaming I don't think anybody should do anything bad to Elphaba. I think if you are the type of person to get annoyed at this person's TikToks where you would go out in real life and like physically threaten them, you're a loopy maniac. Just like everybody on this app. Like all of these people are mental. It's bloody weird when people start taking internet stuff into real life. I mean, Elphaba has done some pretty terrible things on the internet, but at the same time, do you really want to be the type of person who hunts down TikTokers like some of a form of like, weird vigilante it's a very weird situation this isn't it you know like to be put on the side of alpha because of the insanity of the people who respond to her it's mad it's kind of crazy so you know i'm still processing it um yeah, it's fucking scary shit Nine, 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 nine. So, yeah, to be fair, understandable. Turning up to any form of person's door is a uh, sick behaviour. It's um, very weird. Uh, Elphaba goes on to explain why she thinks people dislike her. Uh, and it's quite interesting to see her perspective, everything, um, how self-aware she may be. And then we've got videos of the incident taking place. So uh, that's a whole thing. And there's so much to dig into that, like some uh, casual racism. It's a classic TikTok live. What did you think? Do you think it was going to be cheery this Christmas? No. It has. It's just bad mental health. A lot of you have bad mental health. And everyone will deny that. But I think the haters, you are very, very troubled individuals. And I personally think from my point of view, you get someone that much, you're gonna, you, you love them. You're gonna be talking about me. You're watching me. You're taking your time to watch someone. You're gonna be in your head rent free. Like brain, that's why you come back and watch because you know, I actually, you, you do kind of love me. I would be lying if I said I don't enjoy watching these videos to an extent. Some of them then you want to be physically sick. But what I will say is as somebody who has watched all of these TikTokers, I kind of like watching them in the same way that somebody would keep a terrarium of ants. They're like my little ants. And I like checking in on them to see, like, oh, have they eaten each other alive yet? Um, have they starved to death? I'm not very good at looking after my ants, apparently. But that's what TikTok is to me. It's like YouTube on crack cocaine. It's like a sped up version where people explode and their careers die off. And, like, watching them do insane stuff is hilarious. Like Bevo recently, like gets famous, meets Ed Matthews, cheats on his girlfriend in the span of like three days. What's not to love about the insanity of that? For TikTok fame, nobody's gonna know who you are in like two weeks and they all go insane about it. The one thing I'll say about Elphaba is the thing that's so interesting and the thing that keeps people coming back is more like not being able to look away from like a car crash. You're kind of like, oh my God, oh, I hope everybody doesn't die in that. But then at the same time, you're like, I can't really look away. Oh my God, they're gonna, they're gonna hit that, that semi truck. Oh my god, there's 25 children in the back. This is gruesome. Why are there 25 children in the back of the TikToker's car? I don't know. Because they're a TikToker? Yeah, it's insane. That's why people watch. I mean, it's more the insanity. Some people also are mental. Like the person who turned up at your house. They're sick. I am your entertainment. So you, that's, you, that's all you talk about. Why do people bully me? 
And then I look really deep into it. And I've analysed a lot of um, bullying behaviour. And from from the key point of standing, you're just unhappy people. Do you know what? I love when people use therapy speak, especially on YouTube. I've seen people like Matt Reif use it recently. Many TikTokers, many YouTubers, where they're always like, yeah, I just believe you're a very jealous person. Like, it's, a, it's an internal thing. Yeah, I think um, your mental health isn't exactly great and you need to improve upon that. Shut up. Honestly, it could just be because people don't like you. I find it easier to just go, hey man, maybe I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And I accept that. I don't feel the need to bestow people with mental health issues or say that they're like some jealous person of my success. It's like, they might just fucking hate the videos. They might, they might not like them. Because I know that I feel that way about other people and, I, and sometimes it is jealousy maybe. But not all the time. Like sometimes I can watch people and go, they suck. People go, is it because they're a millionaire? I go, he's a sex offender. I don't like him. I'm not jealous of that particularly. I don't know. On TikTok it might be different. But um, not for me, but for other people. Um, let's move on. You get my point, right? Some people just dislike each other. That's what I was trying to say. Why did I blow it up like that? Why did I make it weird? Why did I do that? I don't know. This is why I don't go live, because I say weird stuff like that and I need to be put on a leash. Not sexually, just in general. Why have I said that? Let's move on. Individuals who claim to be happy and claim to be great, but your life is a living shit. Because if your life was good, you wouldn't be treating someone like shit. And Alphabet, if your life was good, you wouldn't be on TikTok Live, would you? You'd have a job and you'd like fit in with society and you'd be somebody who, I don't know, makes an effort to do something of actual worth, but instead you beg people for money and you lie to make more money about having disabilities to scrounge off of people who believe they can relate to you. God knows why they'd want to do that, but some people do. It's one of those things where when you sit here and you throw stones like this, it just comes across as completely pathetic, to be honest. Because um, I wouldn't say I fall under any of these. I just find it interesting to see what you're up to and what TikTok is up to. And I find it interesting that people watch you. That's really how I make most of my videos. I'm like, why do people watch that? Like, why? And that interests me, that the fact that people will flock to something. And... Um, that generates interest and that obviously generates interest in the type of stuff that I talk about and I know that people are going to watch it because if I'm interested in it, other people might be. And I like to sit here and dissect it because I do believe that there is so much interesting stuff you could learn about people through the internet and it's fascinating. Like I am generally stuck to my screen about successful YouTubers and people like this, you know. They all fascinate me because just the way it works in the system and the fact that it could generate thousands of pounds is truly amazing to me. Like, what an incredible thing humans have created. Like, we've evolved to this point where this is a living for somebody. And then so is this. Thank you again, uh, as always. You know, it's Christmas time. Got to be thankful for stuff. I'm very happy, um, by the way. And I just wanted to say, quickly throw it in here, the support on this channel this year has been so nice. So thank you, everybody. And I can't wait for next year. I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, you know, let's crack on. But maybe we're just jealous. I personally think truly happy people in themselves and people who are kind have better lives than people who choose to let's say discriminate someone and bully that's them. ironic coming from Alphaba, the person who literally compared an indian man to a poo on a live stream a couple of weeks ago you shouldn't sit here and do this and i've seen a lot of people do this when they get hated on youtubers then feel like they need to go and address their haters you don't you can just like move past it you can just ignore it right like those people are going to say that stuff about you you don't have to sit here and go, oh, but they discriminated against people. Because then people can find you doing the same thing. That's probably why you've accumulated people who dislike you. Just accept it. You can't change their mind. It's not going to happen. There's no reason to sit here and grovel on the internet about this stuff. There really isn't. Just leave it. It'll be fine. You have people who love you for some reason. I don't know why, but you do. Focus on them. Focus on the people who enjoy your stuff. Don't focus on the people who don't care for it. Or maybe Alpha wouldn't have much left. And do you know what? I don't look at this from a bitchy point of view. I look at this from a place of concern. Maybe that's people all they that maybe that's all they know. Maybe that's all they know. Maybe they're brought up to hate from from a parent or something. Maybe some of you are brought up from a really shit childhood and all you know is hate. And to curse at someone and to treat someone like I feel shit. like I'm in a monologue of a shitty Disney film, you know? Alphaba does this a lot, where she monologues, and it's meant to be like the 
redeeming part of the show where that person who's been down and out turns around and goes, no bullies. This isn't you, Michael. Maybe you were brought out to hate. This isn't the one I know. Let's be friends. Fuck off. It's not gonna happen, okay? It's not happening. Stop doing it. It's weird. We know you're a theater kid, but drop it for five minutes. For the love of God. Some of you have never truly found love and truly have never been given what you want. Well, that's a load of waffle. So, um, thank you, Alphabet, for chatting shit on TikTok, as always. Uh, let's watch videos of her having a panic attack when people dox her. Obviously, not good. Don't do this to people. But at the same time, there's a part that's quite funny. So, not the doxing. The like her mum says. It's not really funny. It's quite bad, actually. Funny's the wrong word. Oh. Calm down, okay? Please. God, stop crying. Stop. Can you get... Just stop. I'll, I'll go, okay? Can you stop? Stop, care of me. But we're okay. Me and you are in the house together. We're safe. You're not alone. Do you understand? Okay. It's all right, darling. Don't cry. We don't, we don't want noises. No, we, we don't want noise. It's just... Yeah, and anyway, so basically, they can't come into your house. Somebody did comment that it's funny watching somebody having a panic attack where they're shaking, but the camera's perfectly still on them, like on live. And I do agree. Um, it's hard to tell what isn't a performance and what is real at this point because the lines have been blurred so massively and that's not even our fault. Like, Alphabet has done that to themselves. It is literally the story of the person who cried wolf, I guess. I'm sad, I have to walk away and come back tomorrow or something. Please. Oh, please. Oh, it's please. Come on out. That went, that order. Please check. No, we haven't ordered you, food. We've got our food. No, we haven't. We've got our food. So, we, um, we've just been docked, so it's yeah, not... Um, we've been we, I'm live right now on TikTok. Sorry. The thing is, though, if you shut down the live, and I know it shouldn't be like this where they end up winning, but if you shut down the live, they don't get a reaction, so they won't do it. Okay. They do it because they're all sat in Discord, their friend goes, knocks on your door, it's on live stream, you freak out, they get what they want. If you end your live stream, they can't do that. Now... As somebody who's live streamed personally and has also had friends who've been doxxed in the past, it's one of those things where it's messed up that people could stop people from doing their job, putting on the live stream they were going to do that day. But come on, Alphaba, it's three o'clock in the morning, get off the fucking live. Like, it would probably fix this issue very quickly. Well, then we've got the fallout of this, which is uh, Alphaba being kicked out of the place she was staying at. So um, let's watch this as well. I have nowhere to stay now, just letting all of you know. You know that, right? I had this place here for Christmas in a house where I felt safe. I bought it and we were going to do Christmas together. Now we can't because I'm being kicked out. Once again, Alphabet giving the people what they want. Going on TikTok and going, you ruined my day. You ruined my Christmas. I have to move again. That's what these people want. Like, they want this reaction. They're desperate for it. And Alphabet just gives it to them every single time. Like their own little Christmas present. It's like, if you stop giving attention to all the negative stuff, it won't be fueled. If you just ignore it, it will die off, okay? You know, just let it be. It's like a fly. It, it will live like maybe two days and it's dead. But if you keep on giving it food, it's gonna lay more eggs and it's gonna live forever. So you've got to stop, right? You've got to stop giving these people attention. I don't know if I can give Elphaba more advice because I know that she does not care because at the end of the day, even these little breakdowns, it does seem like it's it's just a way to get her in the news. It's a way to get her to have people to make videos on. It's like pointless, really. But if you're a content creator who wants to avoid something like this, don't fucking go on live, lads, at Christmas. Don't know why I went scarce there. Well, maybe a different accent might get through to her. Probably not. I wanted to spend a day, maybe like a, a month in London, and just wanted to spend time with my mum and feel safe. I can't feel safe now because she's transphobic and horrible and taking my rights away by doxing me. Yeah, so Alphabet accused this woman of doxing her, somebody called Jenny, and um, it basically turned out that it wasn't very true. It was people in a Discord who did it. Once again, as I said, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's just weird. So Alphabet got in more trouble because people were like, oh, she'd fake, like, accused the wrong person. The thing about this is that Somebody's still doing it. Like, we saw the video on Discord of the guy, like, bragging and taking pictures of them through the window, like a fucking creep. So, it's not cool. Just don't do that. I don't understand why people feel like they have to do it. It's very odd. Like, do you have nothing going on in your life? 
Like, I sit here, I comment on this stuff, and I watch from afar, but I try not to get too much detail on this. Like, I've seen some really weird videos about this from people that, like, are so strange. I've got one. It's one of the weirdest videos you ever see. It is truly fascinating. Hi, I'm Luna. The server owner that doxed Alphaba last night. And this is Ham. Right up here. Who went to Alphaba's address. Oh, okay, so Ham is a f He's gone to Alphaba's. He's knocked on the door and walked away. That's all he's done. That's still not acceptable though. You can't just knock on people's door and walk away. It's weird and it's threatening behavior. It's so odd. How could anybody justify this? And what is that filter? It looks horrific. He was about to drive off when he saw a delivery driver pull up outside the complex. And he went, oh, if you're delivering it to that person there, she has scabies. So the driver's Phoned up the boss, being like, oh no, 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 the driver has scabies, you need it. It's pay and contact type of thing, like pay when delivered. So, he's gone, oh, well, can you come to the door with me? So, I can give you the food and then you can give it to her. No delivery driver would do this ever. That's insane. Well, just give a random stranger somebody's order. Do you know how, like, much trouble they'd be in? These people are insane. Do you know nothing about anything? This is so... Um... Weird. Ham gets the food, he tries passing it to Maria, and Maria goes, thank you, and tries to like slam the door in the face, and then he goes, oh, no, no, you need to pay for this, because this comes out of his paycheck, because it was a pay and deliver type thing. It's coming out of his paycheck. Are you sure you want to do that? And then, so, this started having like a little bigger, not much. And then she slams the door in the face, but before she closes it fully, um, Ham says, oh, you're a bitch. Yeah, so uh, basically these people are mentally ill and very weird and um, they need to be all sent to an asylum. That would be a good idea. Just look everybody who's on TikTok in an asylum and then uh, just get rid of it. I don't know how. Any suggestions would be welcome. Here's the video to Alphaba finding out all this information. I'm sure she goes mental. I mean, I would be quite confused too. Someone, to harass someone's family, to make someone's life a living hell, to call up restaurants to stop my orders, to, to try and come to get people to hurt me, to put me in danger, to dox me publicly on a TikTok app where people already know they hate me and you knowing I'm trans, I'm vulnerable. I'm trans and you're misgendering me and you're putting my mum and me at risk. You're a 40 year old woman. Oh, I'm no, I'm taking you to court now because do you know what? Your behavior is just insane. How many of you agree? I love that. Ask the chat if they agree. It's like a circus, isn't it? I mean, valid to be fair. What weird behavior, but at the same time, to end it like that is so dystopian. Guys, is it okay if people come to my house or not? Uh, one for yes and two for no. Thank you very much, guys. Love ya. That wasn't even the police. That wasn't even the police. Fucking hell. It's foreign. Uh-oh. But I don't care. No, 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 no. No, but that's why. Okay. Okay. Um, it wasn't the police. It was... Uh... A foreigner. I, I don't know. Does that make it okay? I couldn't really tell. Uh, what an interesting way to refer to somebody. It says a lot, really. What was Elphaba saying about being raised by people badly? Seems to be lost in terms of irony there. I have nowhere to stay now, just letting all of you know. You know that, right? Well, that's the end of the uh, Christmas drama that Elphaba was involved in. Very strange. Please do not dox people you do not agree with on the internet. Don't go to their house, no matter what you feel. You become even bigger of a freak than them. It's just ridiculous. Like, if somebody's done something wrong, right, report it if you think it needs to be reported. But, you know, taking it into your own hands by turning up and trying to berate them is insane, okay? That's really weird behaviour. So, that's another Alphaba video for me. Um, I don't know how many of these I have in me, but, uh, you know, they drive me mad, to be honest. Um, I might work on a big video that kind of just details the whole history of Alphaba at some point. That's something that uh, I might do. So, if you want to see that, Leave a like, because that'd be cool. And uh, I'll post it on uh, one of the YouTube channels that I've got. I've got so many. Um, I'll see you guys soon. I hope you had a good Christmas. I hope you had a good year. Uh, I hope it's better than all of this shit and all of these people. It's good. Bloody hell. You know, disturbing for them. I'm hoping next year is going to be really big. And we're going to be working on loads of videos and posting super regularly. Your support this year was insane. And I can't thank you enough. It really means a lot to me. 
So thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to leave this one here, and I will see you in 2024. Goodbye. Happy New Year.